Hi there. For this video, we are tasked to find the value of this complex fraction out here. So to solve this, the first thing that I would focus on is this part. Since this part is the one that is the most complex in this fraction, if that makes sense. So first, note that if n for some integer n is greater than 2016, then 1 over n is less than 1 over 2016. So how did we arrive at that? Note that we can divide n and 2016, both sides out here. Then we can cancel the n out here, 16 out here, giving us 1 over n is less than um, 1 over 2016, which is the same as the one that we had written out here. So with that, we know that, um, let's move this one out here, we know that this one, since 2017 is greater than 2016, then this one is less than 1 over 2016. This one out here is also less than 1 over 2016. This one as well is less than 1 over 2016. In fact, every element in here is less than 2016. And so, with that in mind, we know that 1 over 2070 plus 1 over 2080 up until 1 over 2024 plus 1 over 2025 is less than 1 over 2016 um, plus until 1 over 2016. Now the problem only is how many of this one? Well this one is starting from 2017 up to 2025 if we count that. 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025. That is 9 times. So we know that 1 over 2017 up until 1 over 2025 is less than 9 over 2016. Now to obtain the same denominator out here, or this same set of fractions, we simply add 1 over 2016 out here. Note that we can do that since we're adding the same number in both sides of inequality. So we have 1 over 2016 plus 1 over 2017 up until 1 over 2025 is less than 10 over 2016. And so we take note of this, this one. Well, actually, this whole inequality, we take note of that one. So let's just clear out some areas. And let's put this first key finding out here. Similarly, if we have m, for some integer m again, is less than 2025, then um, 1, over, 1 over m is greater than 2020. Oops, not 2025. This should be 1 over 2025. 
So for the proof or the explanation of this, I will leave that one as an exercise. We simply do the one or the similar thing that I did a while ago in the first inequality that we have. And so with this in mind, let's move this one. We know that um, this one out here, since 2016 is less than 2025, then this one is greater than 1 over 2025. This one as well is greater than 1 over 2025. This one as well is, one, is greater than 1 over 2025. And indeed, every element in here is greater than 1 over 2025. So, we have um, 1 over 2016 up until 1 over 2024 is greater than 1 over 2025 plus 1 over 2025. How many? Similar to the one a while ago, this whole is added we have 9 times. So this becomes 1 over 2060 up until 1 over 2024 is greater than 9 over 2025. And so, like how we did a while ago, to get the same denominator or the value in the denominator, we simply add um, 1 over 2025 in both sides of the inequality. And this would give us 1 over 2025 plus 1 over 2060 up until 1 over 2024. Oops, this should go out here. So let's write this one much better. Actually, let's move this one since it's quite all right there. So this one is equal to 1 over 2060 up until 1 over 2024 plus 1 over 2025 is greater than mm, this one is 10 over Okay, so we take note of this inequality. And actually, we can incorporate this one into this inequality. And so, combining everything that we have so far, we have this inequality. We have 1 over 2016 plus 1 over 2017 up until 1 over 2025 is bounded by first this one out here is 1 oops this should be 10 this should be 10 and this one is 20, 25. And this one is 20, 16. Mm. Yep. And then to go back or to get this fraction above, simply get the reciprocals of all of this. So this one will become 1 over 10 over 20, 25. 1 over 1 over 2016 up until 1 over 2025 this one is 1 over 10 over mm, 2016 and for the signs note that when we get the reciprocal the signs reverse so Simplifying this one, 
out here. That would simply, this would go to the numerator. Why? You can recall the concept on division of fractions, or if you can't recall it, I will probably link out here or put it in somewhere in this video where a video on how to divide fractions. So basically, this would become um, 20, 25 over 10, and this one out here becomes 2016 over 10. Wherein this simplifies into Two hundred two point five, and this simplifies into two hundred one point six. And so, given this inequality, since we there's a note above that we round off to the nearest whole number. Now observe that um, if we set this whole into say x a variable x to make it simpler. So say we have this one becomes x is bounded by 202.5 and 201.6. What is the only possible whole number that x can take? Clearly, it is just x equals 200. And actually, that is the answer for this problem. So it's quite a lengthy solution, but the key is understanding how inequalities work, since that would be your greatest weapon in solving for this one. When we arrive with inequalities, when we arrive with this, this is the general inequality. It's now easy to observe that the only possible value of this one in whole numbers is 200. So I hope you enjoyed this problem. Feel free to comment down below any comments, suggestions, or clarifications. Or if you have your own solution to this one, please don't hesitate to share it down in the comment section below. So that's basically it. And that is all for this video.